And uh, today we will be installing a set of uh, random access memories in our iMac 5K, which we have here. So first, what we need to do is uninstall the uh, eight gigs of RAM that we already have. There are two sticks, and we will replace this with the four sticks that we have on the table here today. So this is how we do this. First, you locate the back plate of your iMac right here. Uh, actually, the cable needs to be put out first before you can reach the button. So you have turn off your Macintosh first and then you unplug the cable like this. And uh, if you can see here, there is uh, a little carving here, which you can see is uh, looking like a button which you can press and you can take a flat screw screwdriver like this one and you can unlatch the latch. So when you do that, hold with your left hand and then click uh, quite hard on this one so you get it out like this. And when you get it, it gets out like this and you take this one out like this. And then what you see is these two latches here one arrow to the left and one arrow to the right on that one so it means you have to take your both thumbs and latch down the latch like this and there you have your first first stick of uh, RAM memory to remove so I will just try to take it out with my hand Let's see if it's possible to get it out here there we go Gently moving it out. There we go. There we go. That's the first memory. So we put it right here. And we have the second set of memory. So these are four gigabyte modules. Let's see if we can get this one out as well. There we go. So that's the second set. And as you can see, the back side is up here, so you can see on the pin uh, that we need the the, the little in, insert here or the cut here it needs to be to the right, so we know it gets on the correct position. Here we have our new set of uh, memories. These are Kingston HyperX Impact. So we will start installing those and take them one by one, so we can get them up first. So oh, this is how they look, very nice and gold plated. So we start, uh, and it, since we have four, we can see there are four insets in, in the port here. So we start on the lowest position and try to just snug them in, hold the screen while you do it, and then just fold them in like that. There is no snap or something like that. It will not latch in. It will just smoothly go in as far as it can. So you know that. And then you take the next piece of uh, memory. And uh, you can see the other port right here. So fit to the left and the right side like that. And also hold the screen again. And push it in as far as you can. So uh, now we have the two last ones. Here we go. These are eight gigabyte modules. So all in all, we will get a total of 32 gigabytes of memory in our system, which is uh, a quite good amount of RAM for most people. So here's our last HyperX Impact stick. Very nice looking, gold plated. And we take the last port. I don't know if you can see the last, but it's in the highest one. Right there and push it gently in like this. So there you go. Now what we want to do is take the latches and do the opposite way probably to get it close. So we bend it outwards to get it in. And maybe even touch the screen to get something to support us. There you go. Something like that. 
And then there is the hardest thing is to get the plate on. And you need to go very high with the plate like this and try to get it even first off. If you manage to get it even, it will get easier to get it on afterwards. We'll see if we can do this. Something like something like let's see here. This is always the hardest part. Something like that maybe. And then grab your screen. Nope. Let's be patient about it. Let's set an alarm on first. Tricky one. There. Come on. There we go. There you go. No. Four yeah. There you go. <laughs> okay. So when you're done mounting that, just use your plug again, input it. Right there, there you have the power. So that's how you install the 32 gigabytes of RAM into your Mac system. And this should be plenty enough, for example, if you're doing video editing, especially if you're doing 4K video resolution, which requires a lot of random access memory. And these uh, modules are Kingston HyperX modules, and they are 1866 MHz DDR3 memory. And remember to check for your certified Apple memories. So they need to be certified by Apple to work on your... Um, Mac system. Maybe you find something that works either way, but it's best to have certified memory for your Apple system. So thank you very much for today. This is 3DFX in the studio. And uh, if you like, please rate and subscribe our channel. Bye-bye.